I won't leave my dog. He's my dog. Who feeds him? Who taught him to sit up? He's mine. I tell you what, we'll cut him exactly in two, and you'll each get half. Oh, Father, don't play King Solomon. <laughs> I tried. to honor Her Britannic Majesty's legation. I am deeply honored. His Imperial Highness, Prince Tuar. I bring greetings from our Empress. You are most welcome, Your Imperial Highness. Greetings and felicitations to your great Queen. of China and the Lion of Great Britain live in peace forever. Our Queen is most touched by the thoughtfulness and the generosity of your illustrious Empress. Your Imperial Highness, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, the first dance will be the military Tuesday. They should be around my neck. Of course, Sophie. You look positively naked without them. of the line, Baron? Oh, no. No, not yet. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Now I'm enjoying it. Oh, 
Sonia, you blind us with your glitter. Would you recognize me without them, Sonia? Mr. Lewis, I understand you're going to Tianjin tomorrow. That's right, Your Excellency. There is a Russian woman here who has no transit visa and wishes to leave Peking. Anyone we know, Sergei? Naturally, it would be in her interest to get to know you. It might be the only chance to reach Tianjin. It might be. If you disregard this, I assure you, the Russian government will remember this conversation. Good evening, Major. Lady Robertson. I've been wanting to thank you personally, Major Lewis, for trying to help poor Father Beamish. You know the Baroness? Yes, of course. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I know that my husband has already thanked you. Yes, I have already expressed my, um, my gratitude. Sir, so, may I present um, the Baroness Ivanov and Major Lewis? Your Highness? Uh, you must be the American who had the unfortunate encounter with the boxers this morning. I'm afraid it was the British missionary who had the hard time, sir. The Chinese government is most distressed. But you must not conclude that all boxers are bandits. Most of them are harmless vagabonds. Entertainers in the marketplaces. Much like the gypsies in your country. In fact, Sir Arthur, I have taken the liberty of bringing such a troupe to entertain your guests tonight. Boxers? Here. With your permission. Of course, Your Imperial Highness. He wants you to take the sword and try to strike him. Try it, Major. Seems to be part of the performance. If I kill a boxer, Sir Arthur, does that uh, create a diplomatic incident? There is no danger. your point, Major. Not quite. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> 